Roadkill Garage has been loved by viewers for a long time, and you've probably spotted the co-host of the show, Mike Finnegan, but he isn't appearing on the show nowadays. So where is he? Has he really left the show? Well, let's find out. Mike Finnegan is a hot rod builder, amazing fabricator, and most surprisingly, a self-taught engine builder. The field he used to consider his passion is now his job, actually. He's spent many years in the automotive industry, and that is why he's an expert in this craft. His knowledge of automobiles had made Roadkill Garage an extremely successful show, and today there are many diehard fans of the show. On the other hand, Mike isn't only a reality television personality, but also an accomplished snowboarder, wake surfer, and drag boat racer. The name of Mike's wife is Jessa Finnegan. He is too close to his family, and that is why he tries to keep his personal life too private. But he sometimes posts pictures of his wife on certain occasions. He once recalled his memory by posting a picture when he proposed to Jessa for marriage in 2004. He also uploaded a video on his YouTube channel when he gifted a new car to his beloved wife. The couple got married back in 2005, and in September of 2020, Mike uploaded a post in which he stated that he doesn't share much about his family because he is extremely concerned about the safety of his family, and it's very easy for anyone to get his residential address because he lives in a very famous place. But as he really loves his fans, so he wanted to tell them that it was his 15th wedding anniversary so that he receives their love and best wishes. Mike has two sons, and just like their father, they are fond of surfing. Mike's living a great life with his family, and he's really happy with his loved ones. So, what happened to Mike in the Roadkill Garage? Is it true that he is no more a part of the Roadkill Garage? Many people just love to watch Roadkill Garage because of the humorous chemistry of David and Mike, but it will be astonishing for you guys that the whole show was an incident in reality, and it might have all disappeared a few months ago. Mike was familiar with the fact that the humble origins of Roadkill Garage had a lot to do with the time and luck. The shooting of the show was done by David Freeberger, and it was published on YouTube after both David and Mike edited it together. Mike says that the show was filmed several times, and there was no script for it, which means it was a reality show in a real sense. He also states that there was no idea what will happen in the show. This is actually a bit weird because no show can run successfully without a script, and at some point of a show, the crew always feels a need for the script in order to make it more engaging and entertaining. Well, people love Roadkill Garage so much that a decision was taken to make it a regular show. But when the show was going on, Mike left Southern California and moved to Georgia with his family. This was the reason why viewers started wondering that Mike had left the show, and this made the viewers really disappointed and sad. The decision of moving was personal, and Mike had a realization that it could cost him his career. But you know what the good news is? Mike hasn't really left the show. It is just right now he's busy with his enterprises. He is continuing the co-hosting of the show and gives time to it whenever he is free. The best thing is that his own busy schedule hasn't affected his co-hosting abilities, and he is involved in the show the same way as he was before. Now, as we are familiar with the fact that Mike is still part of Roadkill Garage, let's briefly discuss what he's doing now. He's actually busy with his own business interests, especially his own garage, named Finnegan's Garage. On his YouTube channel, he usually posts videos while working in the garage. He also is pretty active on other social media platforms as well. He was recently spotted in Sick Week 2022 that attracted the fastest street legal automobiles of America to Florida. Mike is also so much into merchandise as he has his own website from where you can buy sticker packs, t-shirts, sweatshirts, caps, and much more. The current net worth of Mike Finnegan is approximately $3 million, and the way he's progressing in his field, there are higher chances for his net worth to increase in the near future. So, are you happy to know that Mike Finnegan hasn't left Roadkill Garage? Let us know in the comment section down below.